I'll, I'll bet. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna bet you're useless at promoting, right? That's no, I'm. Do. I'm actually one of the the good ones. Okay, I, you're so soft spoken, and you don't seem like you'd be uh, good at it at all. No, I I I shove it down people's throats <laughs> as much as I can. Do you? The Todd Shapiro Show. Hey, Brad J. Lamb, Mark Ford, a uh, very famous, Hi. funny Canadian comedian. Nice to meet you. Hanging out today. Yeah. Brad, you're a, you you good? Do you go to stand up at all? I, I said at... nice to meet you, and he didn't. He said yeah. <laughs> I just want to say I just want to say if the rest of the interview is a bit awkward. That's that's my that's code that's Brad Lamb's code word for very nice to meet you. Oh okay. <laughs> I'm a man of few words. <laughs> I appreciate it. The yeah. 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 Welcome. Welcome. It's really nice to meet you. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> It's nice to meet you too. Oh, thank you. That's yeah, all I was there looking you go. for. <laughs> uh, would you ask me? What was the do question? You, you, you ask me? Stand up comedy shows? I, don't I think fucking I've ever... hate stand up comedy. It is the Whoa. biggest piece of shit entertainment out there. Are you? You're joking? No, of course I'm joking. Okay, few. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I love stand up, man. It's one of my favorite things to do. But um, I don't I, like. You know, the, the yuck yucks is kind of the the place is still open in Toronto? Yeah, there's a, there's a couple of there's one on Richmond Street, right? I think technically it's still open. Yeah. I wouldn't... I used to go to Stanley. Are you not a, are you not a big Yuck Yucks guy anymore, Mark? No, I'm not a huge fan of what they do. Well, because they own their talent. And yeah. it's a terrible way to be. I, I like I don't I don't agree with that either. Yeah, yeah. especially in this day and age. You can yeah. never do that. Yeah, People they don't need... take care of their talent either or, or right. their rooms yeah. or their... Okay. Yeah, no, that, that's the thing that the experience... You had a bad experience. So. Not a bad experience, but it's very formulaic, and um, um, and I of course heard that um, before. But I the thing is, is, it doesn't seem to me that many opportunities um, to go to stand up in Toronto. I might be wrong, and maybe I'm just not. I'm just missing them. But yeah, you're probably just missing them. But the the comedy bar is great at Ossington and Bloor. See, I didn't if you ever want to see something bar, different, yeah. and also they bring in a lot of um, uh, great American talent that's not um, mainstream. Right. So I, I would check it out. And they have shows seven days a week. Comedy bar. Comedy bar. Ossington and Bloor. What are some other great menus, Mark? That's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one. You got ownership taking it or no? no I don't it. actually, <laughs> and I don't really promote anything ever, so it's weird. But no, it, that's the one I would go to if I was going to go see something, because uh, I know I'm going to see something different, or I'm going to see at least people taking risks. They 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 do sort of do a lot of kind of pop up shoppy now type of, of of stand up comedy, like like say the Drake will do a night and things like that. Do you, yeah, yeah. There's do you that, sort there's of like that, that, that too. There's the Drake and there's yeah. the Alt Dot and there's the you know yeah. There's there's tons of those shows too. Do, do you like the feel of that for for uh, you know comedians to where it's not a room that's sort of built for stand up? Do you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. I just I just think there's the clubs here. I don't and I can't speak for clubs around the world. There's some great Canadian clubs. You know, there's one. Uh, Rumors in Winnipeg is a great club, and uh, there's one in Vancouver that's great, but they just do it right. And I just think that Yuck Yucks is a, a franchise a garbage hell of <laughs> like come see come see a hamburger, not come see come see a great comedian. Yeah, that's all. It seems anyway. to me though that that uh, that the live uh, comedian not not the, well. It seems to me that it's peaked. Not that it should have peaked, but uh, you know, in the '80s. Um, in the 90s, there was a lot more, it seemed there was a lot more, like there was the Laugh Resort, I remember uh, going to a bunch, there was Yuck Yucks, there was places in New York I went to, mm -hmm. and, and it just seems like um, maybe comedy's not doing a great job of promoting itself live. Um, it's possible. I think, I don't want this all to be about me, let's talk about you in a second, but... <laughs> You don't, you don't really want to talk about me. <laughs> but uh, I think, A, one, you've probably grown up uh, and maybe don't... Ne negatory. Maybe don't, <laughs> maybe don't go out as much. But I agree with you, too. Don't In more. Canada, especially, it's 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 not promoted well. But What's well, interesting, because even if you go to L.A., though, right? Like, it's sort of the three main places. There's, like, you know, the Laugh Factory, mm -hmm. there's the Comedy Store, and the Laugh... Uh, or the um, the other one, the, the, the Improv. And, and, you know, it's like... 
for as many. Yeah, but again with L.A., like if you go to UCB or you go to, uh, um, I can't remember the other name of the place, you'll see way better comedy. But so, I know. So why don't they? It's, it, there is there's a promotional problem. I think that like because that's what so, Brad, you know, yeah. you're great at promoting your new project. We can relate to everything to, to good businessmen. I, and I firmly, I'm not just saying that because you're here. Yeah. How do we make stand up back? Uh, you know, known. To where she because it's the best. I mean, when I like Mark Ford, when you have these guys come in here, I've been crying for an hour, like just crying. I want yeah. m- more people to know that that exists everywhere. Yeah, no. I listen. Last night I watched uh, a roast of Rob Lowe, and it was it was so filthy and so mean, but it was very funny. And uh, I mean, I think people love comedy, but see, I, I'll bet I'm gonna I'm just gonna bet you're useless at promoting, right? That's no, what I'm do. I'm actually one of the. The good ones. Okay, I, you're so soft spoken, and you don't seem like you'd be uh, good at it at all. No, I, I, I shove it down people's throats as much <laughs> as I can. Do you? Especially in Canada, you have to because. So, what do you do to promote yourself? I go all the regular routes. I get I hire people to poster. I hire um, <laughs> PR people. I hire. I do press. I do morning shows. I do radio. Radio. Yeah, but I think that's the, maybe show. that's the problem. It shouldn't be an individually. So what you guys should do is you should form a collective of okay. comedians. All right. Have you done that yet? No. Okay, you're gonna pay me for this. A great idea. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm you listening. Form a collective of comedians. You all contribute, almost like a union, but it's not about wages. It's about promotion. Right. And you do wide scale promotion of comedy because the problem is, is that the band promoters are enormous. They're worldwide. Right, and they can take any shit band and put them on a stage with with people that you know, large uh, selling bands, and help those bands get known, and mm-hmm. they can put them in front of thousands of people. But that can't happen with comedians. I mean, there's a thing in Montreal, uh, and there's a few other festivals, but that's what you guys should be doing. You guys should be banding together, forming a collective, a North America, a worldwide collective of comedians, and start promoting comedy. And, and also doing what like rap star, you know, rap stars share, they do the featuring thing where you have like some amazing singer and some shit rapper and the, the rapper gets all the credit featuring the amazing singer, which yeah. I never understood that. But <laughs> they, they promote with each other by singing on each other's albums and singles. You want to pay me to help you guys? I'll take care of it. <laughs> I'll set that up. Yeah. Not that expensive. Well, then you're talking about the worst people in the world working together. Oh. No, 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 no. You hire someone like me to put it together. You pay right. me a fee. Part of the money you're putting in every month is to pay me, or not me, but someone like me. And they would promote all of you as a collective. They're not getting you jobs. Right. They're promoting comedy is ah. a viable source of entertainment. And they're putting it up in front of people. So people say, you know, honey... Why don't we go see some comedy tonight? And said, right. why don't we get fucked up on you know uh, MDNA tonight and spin around like tops? Right. And do something else, right? Right. Yeah. Which is half of my show. <laughs> <laughs> so those that couple would have a good time <laughs> at my show. Well, you have to get them there first. <laughs> they got to find out about how to find you. Well, I mean, you've done. I mean, what you've been on Ferguson, right? Yeah, I've been on the, Ferguson the, the a couple late, late times show. and uh, John what? Oliver and. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, so, you know, I've done okay with my career. It's it's what, but but it, but it has I'm it well been known around the world except Canada, where I'm from. That's fucked. Yeah. So okay, you know that's part of the problem. We talked about this last time here. We were very angry by it, Brad. Maybe you can help us here. Canada doesn't want to help Canadians really until they find out you make it somewhere else, and then they kind of be like, oh, they're yeah, our how own. How do you work around that one? Yeah. Well, how do you I, make I a Canadian uh, go? I want this product that hasn't been anywhere else but here. Because he's a Canadian and he's a wicked Because we were all so proud of the hip and everybody was uh. saying, we're so good at promoting our own yeah. over that concert. We were all jerking over each other. But I, but I think, I think most small countries that don't see themselves significantly in the world stage suffer from the same thing. I don't think so. Because uh, I was just in Australia. Uh, they have they you support can't, their you, own. You, can't, you cannot. They're, they're fucking mental over there. You can't count that country. <laughs> it's a special country. What about what about Sweden or Finland? How many funny people come out of Finland? I don't know, but the comedy boom for bringing uh, English speaking comedians over there is huge. Yeah, but they're not promoting the Finnish comedians because no, no, no. they're not funny people. No. Probably. I, I don't think that's necessarily true. I think Canadians do support Canadians. I think we do. I, I, in the That's entertainment a, you can't scene, can't just say that, though. Well, I, I'm not just saying it because because I think I think it's true. I mean, I, I think you have to realize we're we're a we're a small country separated by massive, uh, you know, 
uh, distances. And, uh, and so it, it, it's harder for like a band from New York city can tour a hundred mile radius and make a living. Yeah. Can't do that in Canada. It's just harder to get to people. Hmm. I mean, Canadians people have to find out about you. They have to know. They, they can't mind read. They need this way. You need to hire this this person. They need to find out about who you are, hear you, find you funny. If, they, if they've if ever heard of you. Yeah, but I'm saying even if you go to them and they find out about you and they like what you did, they leave the show going, well, he'll be all right. It's a Canadian. But if you go to the States and you do well and you do a show, they look you up. They f seek you out and they want to buy your stuff. Canadians don't do that. Hmm. Well, that's not been my experience, but I'm not an entertainer. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> How is the uh, development in real estate game? <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> is it? I'm going to become a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> Would you ever try that? I'm going to grow a beard. <laughs> Does that help? Does that make you funnier? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to grow a beard. You kind of got some scruff going, actually. I haven't shaved for uh, three or four days. I haven't felt like it. Are you angry? Are you angry at stuff? No, I'm not angry. Okay. I, just, no. I, just, I don't like shaving. Uh, I find it, uh, um, my face doesn't like it. <laughs> That's I've a good complained joke. About, I've complained about razors before. Yeah, yeah, we're talking about razors. Fucking racket in the world. And but your head does? Well, you know, my head <laughs> loves it. You know, my head is insensitive. Really? And my face is sensitive. Sensitive. Yeah, it's weird. My head loves being shaved. Wow. I can shave in the dark, yeah. but my face is very finicky. <laughs> this is material. <laughs> Seriously, my face, I, I have to moisturize it twice a day. Really? I have to. My face needs it. Well, Al's got to do it a hundred times a day. Balau's in, in rough shape over there. Um, <laughs> would you ever, would you ever, I mean, you've accomplished so much in your life, Brad. Tons. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. I'm amazing. <laughs> would you ever I'm do, joking. Actually. Would you ever, would you ever try stand up comedy? No, I don't think so. What a challenge that would be though. I think it's the hardest thing in the world. Uh, not the hardest thing in the world. I think there's harder jobs, but I think um, getting up on stage uh, and try and and trying to be funny, I think, is terrifying. I think it's very difficult. It, I trust me. I've tried it three times and literally been carried off. You know, all through. Well, the first time I was okay when I originally met Mark, and that would have been in like two thousand and one or two. And and when I met Mark, I mean, I brought him up on stage and he did a funny set and probably made fun of me a little bit. But <laughs> um, it 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 is it is really amazing. You know, and and I, you know, I'll use this sort of stark contrast of, of of a very confident businessman, okay, Brad Lamb, who does very well for himself, and 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 all the reasons for it, because the product speaks for that, you know, for what he does. And by the way, that Tiff Lounge that we're doing at Theater Park, bro, we'll talk about that in a second. That's like that. I, I at forty five floors up on King Street, you're higher than planes. Like you watch the planes land. And there's something so magnanimous about it, like that feeling. You're just like, wow. And it's peaceful. It's like the heavens. Anyway, it's, it's so beautiful. Thank you. Uh, starting tomorrow. But, you know, you look at, at, you know, comedians and they do things that literally, and this is what my friend Jamie Masada says from the Laugh Factory, which I find so amazing. He's like, there's probably maybe a hundred people, literally a hundred people consistently who can make people laugh. Like consistently night after night for a career, for a living, do it for 30, 40, 50 years. But a lot of the time you guys are, you know, you're a bit self-deprecating, you're a bit insecure. You, you know, we were talking earlier, but you questioned. I find that so, so interesting how you could do one of the toughest things in the world, but still, you know, have kind of these fears. Yeah. <laughs> so I think you, you do, do you, do you medicate before you go on stage? No. You don't? No. No, I'm not a not like drugs. Yeah. No, I've no. never or been or alcohol. drugs. Or alcohol. Uh, no, no. You don't relax by having a couple of wobbly pops in the back. No, no. I mean sometimes, but not 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 to not, to get through. No. no, no. No. Do you in the morning? No, but I'll tell you this. I, I, I tell you, this, I do a lot of speaking. Yeah. Uh, and and some of it's funny, but it's only funny. Uh, well, it's funny to me, but. Uh, <laughs> But um, I, I, and I, I don't have to drink before I go on. But you like to. Well, I'll tell you what. If, I, if I'm going to a presentation uh, to a bunch of hedge funds mm -hmm. um, and there's like, it's maybe a, you know, a lunchtime thing. I might have a couple of drinks before I do it just because uh, it, it, does, it does relax me a little bit. Well, it's not something a, I have to you do. You have a big business deal coming in. I do. It's, it's, a, it's a $30 million real estate deal. Do you potentially just like, you know, the, it, could that not close? Because you've got, 
you know, another, you know. No, no, I was actually talking to him on the way up here. That's why I was late. And, um, uh, $30 million a, business deal. Well, it's 30 or 40. Did you discard the phone call? Yeah. <laughs> how, Good how, for you. Is he the coolest guy ever? Like, I mean, come on, that's a, right. Hello? That's a good, like, if, if, a, if a seven grand call came in right now, I'd take it. Like, I'd, I'd leave my own show. <laughs> That's classic. He's not, wearing, yeah. he's not wearing headphones. He can't hear the fake oh, applause. Oh, we're doing that. Nice where were my fucking headphones? <laughs> yeah, where are the headphones? I got screwed. Yeah. <laughs> kind of what? Oh, oh, there's an extra step. Well, you don't give them headphones? <laughs> anyway. But sorry. I'm hearing, every, I'm hearing everything anyway. I'm okay. Just, yeah. Only you guys are talking. You can hear. You got, you got someone us. else? Well, you know, sound, I sound cooler in a microphone, though. That I know. From juvenile to gentleman. It's the Todd Shapiro Show on Sirius XM 168. Canada laughs.